All right, it's Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. Today's battle is on the El Haluf map, and we've got uh, Fury from Fitty Clan in his T9 US uh, tank destroyer, the T30. This is the turreted uh, version. Uh, okay, so heading to the initial spot um, where you try and catch light tanks crossing. So you try and spot tanks that are coming down the hill or um, yeah, crossing over. But um, yeah, most people know that yeah, it's a dangerous place to cross, so um, there may not be that many targets there. And in fact, their team has got no one going down there. In fact, there's no light tank on either side, so that might um, preclude that. Now, it looks like the grill put in a shot and then got lit, or at least got a blind shot to come in to him as well, so took some damage. So Fury saying, all right, well, no rewards there, no point staying there. It's pretty common for tank destroyers to sort of stay in one part of the map, but if you've got an ability and, um, and a turret in particular, but not necessarily, um, then it's definitely worth relocating to try and find better targets. So if you're not doing damage, then what, what are you doing in the game? And he's got two marks of excellence on the gun barrel there, so we know he's got a decent um, average damage. And uh, he's got a nice um, 3D skin on this one. It's a bit different from the, what the normal tank looks like, which is pretty bare, so quite nice to look at. Yeah, not a whole lot of damage has been swapped so far. The teams are pretty even. And they just want tanks to push around. Now, it's been spotted, so that's probably that object, 430. It came around the corner, or at least poked a little bit. Probably just at the top of his turret that came out. So not much of a target. There you go. Down to 277. You can aim for the roof of those tanks, so if you particularly have got a high place gun to fire down on the roof, but it's in danger of ricocheting, so... So what you want uh, the enemy to do is poke, if they're not poking, um, yeah, there's not a whole lot you can do apart from poking yourself, apart from going around the back and coming over the hill. So some point they'll get to, uh, yeah, tempted to come out and there you go puts in a nice shot on that 277 just poked it a little bit too far took two hits of damage and Furious was the second one to arrive which took him out so Fury deciding okay oh it's probably going to put off the other tanks let's come and relocate oh there he's found a 255A is he going to get a shot in distance sorry he does nice shooting there he's running food so that helps both at the same time and his um, dispersion as well as other factors like gun loading time etc so definitely worth running food if um, you're particularly chasing marks of excellence or other other metrics and there is a consumable sale on right now until the 5th of October so stock up on consumables like um, food and repair kits etc while you can, 50% off. Good all in credits, of course, so if you can afford it, um, buy as many as you can because you'll use them until the next consumable sale. So they come around about every six months or longer, so definitely worth buying them if you can. I think I spent around 5 million credits on <laughs> consumables. Oh, you go. Just snaps that 430 but fails to hit. Yeah, it's running a mission here. Let's just have a quick look. Let's see, TD15. Oh, it's, he's already got that. Um, so just looking potentially to get honors. So it needs to do 6,000 damage and destroy five enemy vehicles and win to improve his result. So 
there's only 12,000 hit points left uh, in the game, so chances of doing another 5,000 uh, are there, but it's relatively slim. He wants that 4.30 to poke out a bit, all a mouse. Come on guys, give us some targets. So tank losses are pretty even, but um, there's obviously a lot of health that's been lost. Only three tanks have gone down, but the total amount of hit points of each team is now about 50% of what it was at the start of the battle. And you can see that 121B is sitting there on 95 hit points, so he's probably feeling pretty nervous. Fury decides to poke out to see if he gets spotted, but there's no target there. Still some juicy targets, so, but um, yeah, doesn't reward pushing until you get to a certain um, overbalance. I might just speed this up a bit. I'm not sure how long he's going to wait. Oh, there you go. T30 pokes around and he gets a nice shot into the roof of the turret, as I was saying before. The roof armour is normally pretty thin, typically around 40 millimetres or so, 30 between 30 and 40 millimetres, so being able to shoot down onto the roof, particularly if you're avoiding the ricochet angles, is normally an instant pen. Now he's firing all premium rounds here, by the way, chasing the third mark of excellence, so and that also gives him uh, the best um, shell velocity he can get, which is just over a thousand meters per second. Always good for um, longer range targets, like he showed with that T55A. Gets a nice shot through the front lower plate of the crane wagon there, a bit of an angle, but um, not a problem pinning it. Crane wagon reduced to a single shot and then get taken out by the mouse. And just paying the price for her peaking, I think. Oh, that's T55. 215B183 there, but rushes your shot, bounces, or fails to penetrate, potentially 1730 damage. Now he's got the T30, gets the kill shot, takes a hit in return. That's okay, still got 800 odd hit points to trade. And now he can potentially get a kill on this mouse here. And the mouse trying to get into a position where he won't get touched, but if he gets the side cheeks, which he does, no problem going through there. And now he knows he's going to get tension from the 430, which he takes a hit, but um, can still take another hit from the 430. Oh, like there's Joe Tora. Yeah, shout out to Joe. Joe's a yeah. NZ Premier League player, former member of the clan, and I think you might have seen some videos of his on this channel before. Uh, Fury will come around, but no, he doesn't want to take it from the D3. Rushes his shot and then bounces, so it drives straight past and blocks the back of the um, E3 and includes breaking the track, so he'll get some assisted damage from that. Now we'll probably get the kill, I think, here, but no, too slow. The mouse takes him out. So the game balance has changed pretty quickly. Hit point balance has also gone in that direction. There's six tanks up. There's only 1660 hit points left in the whole enemy team. Can Fury get to 4,000 hit points of damage? Doesn't look like there's enough for him to do that. One three goes down. There's a Conway there on full hit points so far. He's probably holding the balance. <laughs> yes, he is. In fact, he's the last tank left alive. So, but the Joe Tor and the VZ55 is going to get there before him. Joe gets in a nice hit there, but the Conway takes him out. And Fury's rushing in as fast as a T30 can rush. So we'll just speed up his approach on the hill here. And he probably can survive one hit from the um, Conway, depending on which gun he's running, of course. If he's got the big banger gun. It might be a bit too much, and it's alright. 
it gets taken out there by Fury after the object 777 puts in a hit. So it doesn't pick up all the damage he wants, but that's a nice result. 3792 and 1478 of oh, assisted damage. So that was an ace tanker game there for um, Fury. Um, pace to play in front when using a tank destroyer if you can, and the T30 is probably ideal for that because of the turret and uh, plays a bit like a heavy tank. So didn't quite get to um, the level for the high caliber award. It just missed out, I think, by a couple of hundred hit points. So that's a bit uh, sad there, but I don't think he was that worried about it. And in terms of the team, he finished on top with a base 1304 experience and um, Joe finished with 1193, but got a massive 8K of damage there. So again, shout out to Joe for his um, skill levels there, but um, he must have been um, yeah, sharing damage with uh, other tanks there from spotting perspective. Uh, the mouse did over 3K as well. So, and the i7 also did just under 3K. So good performance there from those tanks. Um, the enemy T30 that uh, Fury dispatched did just over 4K. Um, so he would have been happy with that. And um, the 113, we didn't really see much of the 113, but he did over 4K as well. And the Crane Wagon did nearly 3K as did the uh, VZ51. So, and that was Arceus from Fidi Clan. Just didn't notice that till just then. So good performance from both teams really. And it just sort of fell apart at the end. Um, and they, yeah. The last few tanks yeah got to overcome all right um the detail of his uh, particular cost etc 11 shots fired uh, nine of those hit and eight of those penetrated uh, pretty much used apcr the whole way so it cost him 52k for his ammunition and spent money on consumables as well so again hopefully he topped up with the sales and um Despite having some battle payments, he finished up with a net loss of 26k. But I think in the scheme of things, he'd be happy with that. Did got some decent um, uh, experiences of war from missions, so that good result all around. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. I'll have more great content like this for you through the week. And thanks for watching.